All right, y'all. So I wanted to come in and make a quick Bitcoin update because over the past day, we have had a very large move to the upside. In fact, for the past two days, we've seen Bitcoin come and put in a low at about 18900 and now coming up about 7%. And I think this is something that we need to talk about because um, this is a very critical place for the asset. And the reason why I say that is because when we just take a look at the past few weeks, okay, we're coming back to September 13th, which was that Tuesday where we had, I guess, the inflation news come out and we got that massive rejection from the Fibonacci golden pocket up at around uh, 22.7, right? Um, we have been trading in this range with our highs being very clearly around this 20,000 point two to twenty thousand point five k area and so if we just draw a box out in the chart we can see that this is actually key resistance right and uh, this morning over in the VIP discord uh, when I did my video update one of the areas that I was looking to potentially take a short from was this area right here where we had this potential chickens drink water at around twenty thousand two hundred um, when we came up to that level you can see that we did act actually get a rejection from here and we came up to this level with some bearish divergences on our oscillator down here on market cipher b this is the one hour time frame we have bearish divergence on the one hour time frame we have bearish divergence on the 24 minute time frame we have bearish divergence on the 12 minute time frame as well and you know it kind of looks like upside down uneven butt cheeks right we have especially on the one hour time frame here we have this uh, this set of glutes that is just not quite right. The left cheek is larger than the right cheek. Now, what causes this to happen? Honestly, guys, it's squatting and deadlifting with bad form. This woman does not squat and deadlift with bad form. And when she's out at the club having a good time, right, drink in hand, the TVs are on, people are dancing, sometimes she gets a little too wild and she will hang upside down from her legs from the ceiling. Well, let me tell you, if you look at this, and I mean no disrespect to the lady at all, but if you look at this anatomy here, do you think that it's going to be able to stay up at the ceiling, no, right? No, it's going to have some kind of move to the downside, right? It might it might actually have a drastic move to the downside. Now, we don't know for sure what's going to happen, right? And obviously, I'm being a little silly uh, with my, uh, my analysis here. But we seriously need to consider that if this is going to be a significant move to the upside, this is one of the areas, this box right here that I have drawn out is one of the key areas that is very possible to get a retracement from. Right, I am absolutely looking for shorts in this area, but so far the move up has been very healthy. Okay, it's been wearing multiple face diapers. All right, there's no way that any kind of pathogen can come through. It's been a very, very healthy move to the upside. Um, and let's kind of look at what happened. Right, so we came down and we bottomed out here at this uh, level of like um, 18. 140. We actually did have a level down here. This was one of the trade setups that we did give, by the way, in the VIP Discord. We gave that long trade uh, setup in advance, uh, weeks in advance. We had been waiting for it. And by the way, if you do want to join the VIP Discord where we post the levels in advance and we post the trade setups, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. But we were waiting for that level down there at 18141. Um, because that was one of the key areas we were looking to trade. We came down there with bullish divergences, very, very bullish divergences. The butt cheeks are just flopping off the charts here. We can see that we are way, way below that negative 60 line. And then as we come and we touch our key area, look at the unevenness of the glutes right here, right? Very, very juicy, very uneven, full of ravioli on the left side, the right side, not so much, okay? Now, same thing happens when we come down to this low, okay? These lows are looking pretty bullish because of the fact that we are getting these uneven butt cheeks. In addition, if we go to an order flow chart, let's go to Coinalyze right now, and let's go to like the four-hour time frame. We can see that throughout this entirety of this range right here, right? Look at this. I mean, really, we, we, could, we could technically really start to see it from right here. But every time we put in a higher low, we saw absorption of shorts showing us that there are whales that are looking to push the price higher. And the way we can tell is because we can see that the price is unable to make a lower low, and yet the open interest and the CBD are showing us that more shorts are opening up, right? We have a lot of shorts 
opening up in the market. And so if there's shorts opening, lots of them, millions of shorts opening over the course of September 27th till October 2nd, right? So we're talking like almost a week, yet the price is unable to make a lower low. The only explanation is that there are bigger players in the market who are accumulating long positions with limit orders at these lows, and once those limit orders are filled, then they can push the price to the upside. And so there is some healthiness at these lows. If we go to higher time frames like Market Cipher B on the weekly time frame, we do have a green dot on the weekly. Now, historically speaking, these green dots can uh, be very, very powerful, right? Also, on the daily time frame, we have bullish divergence on the daily time frame. Very, very rare signal where we have bullish divergence on the daily time frame. And then we have a trigger wave on the daily time frame that just confirmed yesterday. So there is room for the upside here, in my opinion. When we take a look at the S&P 500, we did gap to the upside today like crazy look at this daily candle we gapped to the upside and we have not really stopped uh at all we uh yeah we didn't really stop at all guys we have we are still uh getting a move to the upside here and even the bull the the daily time frame on the s p 500 is looking kind of bullish here so if we are going to get continued movement to the upside what do we need to do well it's very important right now that we are able to come above the box that I had marked out on the chart because this, as we can see, has been our resistance. And even if we take it back farther, we can see that this is a very important support resistance flip, right? It was acting as support once, support twice, support three times, and then it's acting as resistance, resistance, and then it's been resistance for the past week. So that is really what we need to look for. If we can come above there, I think we could see Bitcoin get a bigger move to the upside. And the reason for that is because if we look at the overall volume that traded here, we can see that we are currently above the high volume node of this entire macro sideways range. Now, if we can close the daily candle above here, that would be very, very bullish for me. The reason why is because we have seen many daily candles try and close above here and have been unable to for the past few weeks, right? Going all the way back to September 21st, we had this daily candle try and come above that high volume node and got a massive wick back down. Again, it happened on the 27th, massive wick back down. It happened on the 30th, massive wick back down. Can we close this candle above? If we can, look at this. It will be a very smooth move to the upside, just as smooth as her move to the downside is going to be because the glutes are uneven, right? There's a muscular imbalance. There has to be a correction. Just as smooth as her move to the downside from the ceiling will be, will be this move to the upside because look at this candle, just one daily candle. It will be very, very easy for us to come and fill this value area and come back up to around that $22,000 area. And in fact, that is a target for the long trade that I am currently in, that $22,000 area. Now, of course, I am also in the short trade, as you can see here. Reason being is because we got the CDW that we were waiting for in the VIP Discord with our bearish signs. But if I have to be honest, the daily time frames to me look like they have more upside. This is just my bias right now. Although we have bearish divs on the one hour time frame, money flow is still getting thicker. And we know that when the higher time frames like the daily are getting um, bullish signs, uh, oftentimes the the lower time frames don't really give us much follow through. Right. We saw that back here with this long and, um, you know, we saw bearish divs this whole way up. Right. It wasn't until we hit the macro golden pocket that we got that move to the downside there, right? We hit the macro golden pocket, which was a very juicy trade, like um, I do have to say. That, that was a juicy one from the macro golden pocket. We were looking at this one also in the VIP Discord as well. And, um, you know, it's all about having a plan in advance, guys. That's really what it is. But for me right now, uh, this is resistance. Our box that we marked out on the chart is resistance. If we can come above here, I will absolutely be getting much more bullish. But right now, between 21.2 and 21.5, that is key resistance. If broken above, I will look for a move up to around $22,000. And if we can come back up to this area and we don't reject, I would honestly be looking for a move back up to the highs of this range around 24K, right? Because we're looking at this simply 
as just a sideways market with pretty clear lows around the low 18s, right? And pretty clear highs around that 23, 24K area. So that's it, guys. If you want to learn this stuff, you can check out the course, jasoncasbertrading.com. There's still a 35% discount in the pinned comment of this video. This course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident, profitable trader. Um, basically giving you the blueprint. If you want to learn more about order flow, you could check out learn.jasoncaspertrading.com. Check out the intro for free. It'll go over exo charts, coin lines, how to use CVD and open interest and all that stuff. That's it for today's video, guys. God bless everybody in the name of Jesus, the Messiah. I do pray everybody watching this video is very, very blessed, and I will see everybody in the next one. Peace.